The Seahawks are looking to build off their dominant win last weekend as they head back east for the final time this season to take on the Washington football team. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your week 15 game preview. Well, Washington started the season off going one and five, but they have turned things around and are red hot winning four straight games and they sit on top of the NFC East with a six and seven record. Ron Rivera took over as head coach and he's a coach Pete Carroll and the Seahawks are very familiar with. They faced Rivera eight times over the last eight years while he was head coach of Carolina. This is just a statement about Ron's teams. You know, we've played against these guys for years and they've always been a really well balanced team in all all aspects. Um, they're really solid on special teams. They're committed to running the football. The quarterback doesn't get sacked. They're, they're fighting to hang on to the ball like you're supposed to in, in this game. And they always play terrific defense. And so it just makes for a really well-balanced club that you're going against. And, and they've got you know, some real highlights too. They highlight their players on offense, but they've got real highlight players on defense. I'm sure as good as he's ever had, and, and uh, they're a dangerous club. And the fact that they started like they did, I think just fuels them to where they are now. Uh, this team's on fire right now. His teams are always well coached. They're very gritty. And so they're gonna do whatever it takes to, to get the win, uh, whether it's run the ball, whether it's pass the ball, whether it's um, be physical in the run game and things of that nature. I think that's the that was the biggest thing. You know, our, our games were always like you said. You know, low scoring games or you know they had a, we had the game in um, I think it was like 2015, 16 where they they kind of came out on us really quick, but we came back. So you kind of don't necessarily know what to expect, but you know they're going to be well coached and they're going to have a lot of grit. Bobby Wagner has faced a Ron Rivera coach team almost every year he has played in the NFL. He recognizes the hallmarks of a Rivera offense. I think you're definitely going to get some some misdirection runs. You know, I think they like to get the ball out of the, the quarterback hands quick. Uh, they like to utilize the running back, um, you know, a lot. So I think you saw that with McCaffrey, and I think you see that now with JD. You know, even you know they line up JD at, at receiver sometimes, and so I think those are the biggest things. You know, they, they like to get you a little bit of misdirection on, on the run game. Uh, they like to get the running back involved in the pass game, and then they're going to have a few different passing concepts that. Um, go against your cover threes, your cover fours, and things of that nature. Something that you may not have seen on film, and so you just have to figure out which play that he's ran over his period of time that he likes versus our, our defense. Washington's offense has struggled this year. It ranks 30th in the NFL, averaging 315 yards per game. The football team has had a three different quarterbacks start this year for various reasons. Veteran Alex Smith has started the last five weeks but suffered a leg injury in the team's last contest. Early season starter turned back up Dwayne Haskins has been practicing with the first team all week. Fortunately, we've seen enough of, of you know both quarterbacks, so we have plenty of film. So we know you know how they've chosen to play with them you know in championship situations. So you know we're, we're clued in. I think both of those guys really excel in the quick game. You know, what I mean, uh, they're good with getting the ball out their hands and kind of limiting your pass rush reps. And um, they know the offense. They both know the offense and. Um, you can see Alex is just a veteran. You know, I mean, I played against him when he was with Kansas City, and he's always controlled the game and controlled the tempos and things like that. Um, you know, I mean, they moving um, JD around McKissick, and um, he's making some plays for him. So those guys really trust in him, and you can tell that he's the, safe, the quarterback safety valve. So we know that, and we know these guys have been hot, and. You know what I mean? Um, we just got to bring our A game. Wide receiver Terry McLaurin leads the team in receiving yards while running back Antonio Gibson leads the team on the ground. Gibson missed last week with a toe injury and his availability is unknown for Sunday. That said, we could see a lot of former Seahawks running back J.D. McKissick, who is used in the run and passing game. In fact, he has more receiving yards than he does rushing. They're just using them all over the field. I think they're using them in the backfield to try to create matchups. Like I said, they, he can line up outside. Um, they line them at the slot. They line them in the backfield. Um, they literally put them all over the field and they try to get the ball in his hand and make plays. And so I think, um, you know, he was great while he was here. You know, he was a, a great teammate, uh, one, of, one of the funniest teammates. And, you know, to see him out there doing his thing is, is definitely uh, fun to watch. Well, they're just diverse. They do a little bit of everything. Um, you know, they'll fly it and hand it to the receiver as he's, as he's going in motion. They'll run uh, stretches uh, and crunches down tight. They'll also run some uh, power schemes or, or pullers and things like that. So they have diversity in their run game, so it, it keeps you guessing. 
Where Washington really stands out is on defense. They sit in the top 10 of every major defensive stat category, including fourth in total defense and third in pass defense. Their defensive front is stacked and features five first round picks, including dangerous edge rushers Montez Sweat and Chase Young, who have combined for 12 and a half of the team's 40 total sacks. It's not just their defensive ends. Allen's one of the best interior defensive linemen. They're really deep in, in their, uh, their, their attack inside. Uh, they're just great athletes. They're great players. They're a penetrating front. Anybody that's played a Jack Del Rio or a Ron Rivera defense, I mean, you're going to see their whole objective is to knock people back and to, and to create problems inside. Uh, so the ends are really, really good, but the interior guys are just as dangerous. They do a really nice job of moving the pocket. You know, you try to look at them and you say, okay, this week, hey, compare these guys to other people you played. They're very different. Uh, the ends are two young, athletic, great change of direction guys. The interior guys are powerful, disruptive. Um, that's why I said earlier, I mean, I think this is one of the best defenses that we've played this season. Uh, and they do create a lot of problems for any opposing offense. Washington's defensive front will be a test for Seattle's offensive line. For the second straight week, right tackle Brandon Shell could be sidelined. Fourth string tackle Chad Wheeler stepped in and did an admirable job last week. For the first time all season, Russell Wilson was not sacked. Early on in the season, especially the first five, six games, we, we had that continuity You know, early on. That, that really helped. Um, you know, and then we, you know, guys kind of went down there, and it's tough when you're playing really good teams, you know, obviously, and you want to get those guys healthy again. And so, you know, I think we're we're getting healthy right at the right time, and and uh, I think that's going to be really key for us, you know, and hopefully we can stay that way. That's that's the, that's one of the biggest parts of this game, you know, is uh, you know, especially when you play in our division, you know, the type of guys who rush and, and some of the games we have to play and and all that. You want your guys, you know, fully out there, and I think the guys who have stepped in and stepped up. I've done a great job too. So, you know, I think that uh, the good thing is, is that we're getting everybody healthy. It looks like we're getting getting healthier along the way. Uh, hopefully, guys can get back here. The guys who are dinged up, and and uh, we'll see how far we can take this thing. For the past few weeks, the Seahawks defense has been performing at a high level. They're coming off their best performance of the season, allowing a season low three points and 185 total yards. They are looking to build off that, facing a red hot team. Definitely, because I think everybody had an expectation of how we were supposed to play, you know, playing the Jets. And it's one thing to have an expectation. It's another thing to go out there and do it. And, you know, that's a professional football team on the other end. And so anytime you hold a team to just three points, it's something that you can, you know, hang your hat on. So I think we're growing every week. We're getting better every week. Um, we're getting more connected every week. So, you know, I think we'll continue doing that. It's going to be fun to watch. You know, in this league, anytime you can hold a team down to three points, it's, it's a special thing. I mean, the offenses are are really, really high powered. A lot of the a lot of the rules are tilted toward the offense and helping them out. And in a season that uh, where we've come from at the beginning of the season and now be able to get to a point where we can hold a team to three points. That's uh, that's quite an improvement for us. Make sure to set your alarm clock for this one. Kickoff is set for 10 a.m. Pacific. You can watch it live on Q13 Fox.